Hey guys, so it is the day before we leave to Jamaica, and I think this is gonna be a start of my Jamaica vlog. So guys, in this vlog, I will be going to Montego Bay, Jamaica. We will be staying there for five nights. We're gonna be leaving tomorrow morning on Saturday morning at 7 a.m. And then we're gonna get to Jamaica at around 10.30 a.m. So we're gonna have all that day on Saturday. And then we leave on Thursday. So it's gonna be a nice length, a nice length of vacation. We get to be there throughout the weekend and throughout the week. So I'm excited. So this is gonna be the start of that. In my last vlog, I did do some preparation, packing and everything like that. There's a couple more things I just wanna show you quickly before we, you know, before we see the airport and everything and landing in Jamaica. But I do wanna show you the duffel bag that I got that I started to pack as well and just getting a couple last minute things all right so this duffel bag came in yesterday oh yeah him in yesterday um, from Amazon so this is how it looks and I just have like this bag that has my face moisturizer and some makeup in this one then I have this bag that I brought to Barbados it's just a little backpack if we do any excursions or anything I could just put this on my back put what I need and then I bought my little Kate Spade purse, just in case we go out to eat and I want to bring my camera and my phone, I could just stick it in there. I have a little pocket here where I have some toiletries, toothpaste, you know, all that good stuff. Some sunscreen for my face, deodorant. Um, I have this jacket, you never know if it's going to be a little chilly somewhere in the airport, I don't know. Aquaphor, absolutely amazing for my lips. And then this actually holds my shoes. <laughs> this is just a compartment here specifically for shoes so I have like my smaller heels and then I have my flat colorful sandals in there and then a pair of socks I'm gonna be wearing my tennis shoes to the airport so I'll have those and then this cap you know that I can wear for the Sun So basically just the toiletries and some extra accessories so really the only other last minute things I really need is to make sure I bring my toothbrush <laughs> I have the port the um, travel size toothpaste so I just need my toothbrush I need to get some edge control so I might have to stop at Target to get these edges you know slayed when I get there and then some hand sanitizer just for the airport and the travel and everything like that just to have on me um, and I think that's pretty much everything Oh, we have music bumping. 
They already partying. Oh, look at the ocean. Huh. I'm not telling shit. You tell them to come here. Got the stage here. Okay, so we just finished talking about what tours that we want to do. We're going to figure it out to see what excursions we're going to choose. Um, but right now we're waiting for our room to be ready. So we just got a drink and we might kind of look at some of the restaurants or the buffets to get some food because we're hungry. Nobody's in it. Oh, that pool's closed too? Huh? Are all the pools closed right now? Because it might rain. Coming in too. Dang, we can't even dip in the water. Oh man. The beach is nice. They keep the shots coming. Cheers! <laughs> Towels if you need. 
We got the cooler. What's in here? Some drink. Actual liquor. Oh, we got the gold rum. Lit. Yeah. Literal. Have you Johnny ever seen Walker. full bottles of liquor in <laughs> hotel bar? The beds. We got uno bed, dos bed, and a little bed. Tres beds. Oh, that was nice and cool. <laughs> And then the balcony. My favorite part is the balcony. Look at this. You can see people in their balconies too. Let me not be too nosy. Ooh, okay. It's just two chairs out here. But yeah, we gonna get dressed. guys it's the next morning in Jamaica I'm just standing on the balcony right now but just to kind of go over what we did yesterday so we got to the hotel at about 11 a.m. but we had to wait for our rooms to be ready and that took a little while because the check-in was at 3 p.m. so we got there a little early um, but while we were waiting we just met with some people for the excursions which we still haven't figured out what we're gonna do yet so we're still deciding um, and while we were waiting we just one of the rooms became ready so then we just went um, to the pool we went to the beach but it was closed at first because it was supposed to be raining um, and then it drizzled a little bit and they ended up opening the pool so um, so then we had a few drinks at the bar and the lady kept the drinks coming like she kept giving us different shots to try so we probably tried like five different shots of drinks um, while we were waiting for the pool and beach to open. So we just sat there, we just had some drinks, we just chilled. Um, there were just people out there, music playing, you know, the whole nine. So after the bar and the drinks, that's when the pool and beach ended up opening. So we did go to the beach, as you saw, and we hung out there for a little bit. There was this weird seaweed grass underneath the bed of the beach while you're in the water so that was interesting I've never been at a beach that had seaweed that grew at the bed of the beach like like grass <laughs> it was weird but um yeah I spent some time there and then that's when the pool party started at 3 p.m. it was pretty lit we were dancing they had the foam machines putting foam out then we had the little balloons that we were waving around they were playing really good music the DJ was killing it like it was probably one of the best like pool parties I mean they were super lit it was so fun so we had a really good time there so then after that pool party then we finally went to go get our room keys <laughs> and we got dressed pretty much for the night. And then after dinner, they had a dance show that started at 9.30. So we went to the dance show and you saw that. They were killing it. Like they were so fit and in shape, like physically you can tell, because like they danced so much every day in this humidity. So yeah, I'm about to start doing a dance workout because <laughs> I do like to dance. So why not make it a workout? So after the dance show, we went to this nightclub to resorts down and we hung out there we got back to our room at about 1 30 a.m so at that point we was almost up for like for 24 hours because we were up at like 4 a.m so we can you know get ready to go to the airport and everything and we didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m so we were almost up for 24 hours today is sunday so it's gonna be a chill day today and there probably won't be too much footage today i would just figure out what excursions we're gonna do so let's go guys I am up it is 6 21 in the morning it is Monday <laughs> yesterday we didn't do much it was Sunday it was pretty much a chill day 
Um, the only thing that I showed was when we went to that uh, beach party. And the rest of the day, we just chilled out on the beach, in the pool, by the pool, bar here and there. You know, just a regular, usual chill day, Sunday stuff. But today, we are going on an excursion. There's three things included. So they're gonna have the ATVs. So we're gonna ride ATVs. Maybe I'll just be a passenger, I don't know. You know, I'm a slow poke. <laughs> you can choose a zip line. I don't know if we're gonna do the zip line. Um, the bob carts, I think it's called. The bob carts is like a little um, track kind of thing. And then we just have to choose what the last thing we're gonna do is. Cause like I said, I don't know if we're gonna do the zip line, but definitely gonna do the ATVs in the little um, cart thing. Um, and then we'll see what else we'll do. So let's go. We made it. We're just waiting for the tour to start. So, this is our tour. We're wet now. We're going to go to the American crocodiles. And they're protected here. These trees can turn the salt water fish. He's a herbivore. He's a vegetarian. Alright, he's like 160 pounds. Snakes, prior to shedding their skin, will sit in the water for up to a week or two. They will swallow a hole. Mm -hmm. They can live up to 100 years, and the male can weigh up to 175 pounds. Mm -hmm. Caribbean country. They say it tastes like chicken. Mm -hmm. And he can live up to 20 years. Guys? Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Alright, so we can go up to 20 feet long, live up to 75 to 80 years. Mm -hmm. For storage, they'll use it um, like storage, like a camel's hump. Now we're about to ride the ATV. Right here, we have the list of minerals inside of the pool. Feel free to take a picture if you brought your cell phone, alright? You don't have to. So this water is coming from 45 feet underground and that's the reason it's a little cold. But once you go in and you take a dip to your shoulders, you won't feel anything. Okay.
much, much, much later. All right, good morning, guys. It is 7 a.m. It's the next day, day four in Jamaica. Yesterday, day three on Monday. Um, that's where you saw all the activities that we did. So we did the safari, the ATVs, and the push carts. Um, yeah, so it was okay. <laughs> the bus came late in the morning to pick us up from the resort. Then, the safari wasn't really a safari. They probably could have renamed it. You know, it was just caged up. You just walk through and just look at the cages. It was kind of like a zoo in the woods, pretty much. It was okay. It was the first time I seen an alligator in person, so that was nice. Um, yeah, I would say that's the highlight. And the rum. We actually tasted a shot of rum. I didn't record it, but it was literally, like she said, moonshine. My throat was like still recovering for like an hour after that. The um, push cart bobsled, it was literally like very short lived. Like I had fun for like the 10 seconds that I went down and did a couple turns and then there was a stop and we got off and they gave us like coconut water, sugar cane to taste and we were like, okay, I guess this is like a break. Then we got back on and it was another like five seconds and then the ride was over. So they definitely try to add some fluff to it by doing the little break with some refreshments. But the actual ride was so short-lived. I don't think that was worth it. In my opinion, none of us really did. I think the thing that was worth it that I did was the ATV. It was pretty nice. Uh, my cousins did the zip line and they said that was worth it. So it seems like the two things there that are really worth it are the zip line and the ATV. Then we went to the mineral pool and I showed that and it had all the all the list of these minerals that were in it. Um, so that was nice to kind of, I put my face in it, put everything in it, you know. <laughs> and it was so cold, oh, we were struggling to get in. But that was really nice for all your body, you know. And then that's where we headed to the Ritz Cafe and that's a very famous, I think it's one of the top 40 bars in the world um it has like a cliff jump over you can like see the ocean above the cliffs and the water is like blue um then they have like food they have the bar they have a little stage for music and dancing they have a pool as well um so that one was nice it was just really busy and then we headed back to the hotel and it took two hours to get back so we were supposed to get back at 5 p.m at the hotel, we didn't get back till 9 p.m. Cause we didn't even leave the excursion place till like five. It was crazy. Once we get back to the hotel, that's when we had the silent party. You saw we had like our headphones in. We had three different stations, three different DJs on stage for the three different colors. <laughs> the blue was more reggae. The red was more hip hop, R&B, Little Ratchet, you know. And then the green was more uh, alternative I guess <laughs> I can't even explain it but yeah so there's a little something for everyone and yeah that was actually really fun that's outside of the pool party on day one yesterday during that silent you know headphone party that's probably the most I've danced <laughs> was those two occasions so really enjoyed that but now we are about to go on river river raft yeah so i got bathing suit on so i put something over it have water shoes and i'm gonna take you guys along for that so let's go we got this like, little water activities getting our like rest 
Alright, we're gonna start load from the back. So anyone do my Oh, I feel it a little bit. Holy shit! Feel it a little bit. I don't know if the back hear what I said. Let me try again. Anyone say yes, I'm gonna splash them. Anyone say no, I'm gonna splash them. Y'all agree to that? Yeah, man. All right, let me try something. Everyone is good? Yeah, yeah man. man. You ready to get wet? Yeah, yeah man. man. Overproof means over 70 percent. Overproof means over 100 percent. The next day. From a private driver. Not those excursions that you pay for at the resort. The real deal. tubing on Tuesday um, that was it was pretty fun it wasn't as thrilling as I thought it would be it was more like a lazy river um, the tour guides were super hype they try to make it a little more <laughs> exciting um, by being very overly animated I guess so they were funny but at the same time because it was like a lazy river and more relaxing I was just trying to relax, but we got to get in the water, we got to get cool off, so it was nice. 
Um, and then we also did a rum tasting as well um, that same day. I like the signature and the last one. So we went jet skiing and that was that was pretty fun. <laughs> we went to this beach, a real beach, not a man-made beach. The first time it was fun, they gave you 30 minutes, um, but halfway through our jet ski died. So we had a little moment there where we had to get one of the tour guides to switch over. He had to take us back to shore and he had to wait like five to ten minutes to get a new jet ski. And then we got on that one and it was going a little slow. <laughs> but all in all, it was still fun. Um, I was a little scared at first, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, and yeah, so we enjoyed that. And after that, we went to the restaurant, it was an authentic restaurant that we went to with their private driver that he recommended. We're about to pack up and start heading back to the airport. So, yeah. I'm back in Jersey after our trip to Jamaica. We flew in last night, so I got home about 9 p.m. after we like stopped and picked up something to eat and all that. Honestly, it was a really fun trip. Like, we did a lot. We did a lot, as you can see. We did the jet skis. We did the safari, <laughs> um, push carts, um, we did the ATVs, we had you know, the pool party, then we had the silent party, then we would have live shows, like, and then we went into town that last day with the private driver, did a little shopping. I didn't get too much, um, but I will show you what I did get for like some souvenirs. So we had those six days, about five and a half days, we had a lot, a lot of things going on. So it was fun, but I am glad to be back home. <laughs> As an introvert who pretty much stays in the house most of the time. Whew, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was definitely fun. I can't wait to start editing the footage to see, you know, everything we did. But anyways. Let me just show you now that I'm home what I got from Jamaica. So I got this um, bracelet. It has like the Rasta colors and little seashells. So I thought that was cute. I got that from the gift shops that we went to um, the day before we flew out. So I also got this one. This one you actually like unscrew and then you put it on. So I thought this one was cute as well. And then I got my boyfriend like a, a keychain um, bottle opener that says Jamaica on it. And then I got this shirt. <laughs> Let me see if you can see it. So just do it later. <laughs> Jamaica. That's funny. Because I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I can be a little bit of a procrastinator. Um, but yeah. My boyfriend's gonna be an uncle soon, so I got this for his soon-to-be nephew. It is so cute. A little onesie is 18 months. Um, so maybe by next summer, he'll be able to wear it. But yeah, those are the things that I got from Jamaica outside of all the memories that we created, the most important, the ones that are priceless. But they cost a price, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So anyways, on that note, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I hope I captured the moments. I feel like I did a pretty good job of being able to capture all the moments even more so this time around for this vacation and I can't wait to look back on it as much as I can't wait for you guys to see it and also enjoy it. Um, but yeah guys, uh, let me know if you have any questions. You know about where we stayed and the experience and everything like that and what to recommend maybe not recommend <laughs> you can also leave that down below or just your comments and you know thank you so much for watching and joining in and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> bye